My name's Nick Walker. I'm Jails Gabi. I'm Edward Barber. I'm Charlene Mullen. My name's Pure Evil. My bunny tag is the character that I do if I'm out in the streets running around with a spray can. And I've really wanted to do a 3D version of it. I travel by bus a lot and I love looking at the buildings and I have lots of favourite buildings. Some of them are like the Festival Hall or the Mansion House or Battersea Power Station. So they seemed an obvious starting point for me to make some three-dimensional objects based from my drawings and my textiles. So we first researched uh, what Henry Dalton and company were doing when they started and they were producing salt glazed uh, water pipes and that is the basis of our design. I first brought the vandal to life around 2005-2006. He's a graffiti artist but he's dressed as a, you know, the quintessential um, a city worker, bowler hat, and strut suit which is ultimately like a decoy because no one would ever expect you to be kind of like, you know, painting graffiti. I was 3D scanned and that was a kind of uh, process of, you know, someone, uh, the scanner walking around me. And what's crazy is that whilst it's being done, it's actually kind of piecing itself together on a computer screen. This is the first time uh, Royal Dalton have actually used this process. It seemed a really great idea to make them three-dimensional and give them a purpose as well as looking like fun and put them all together for Royal Dalton. Um, we've worked with 3D printers to kind of create this, but the original model was me just sitting there with a piece of clay just moulding the shape. You can see on the inside we've used a uh, glaze to turn this quite matte um, grey into a really rich black gloss. We're very proud to be associated with the company and really, really pleased that we can be working on a project for a company which started its life only a couple of miles away from our studio. From the resin to the, for the, to the bone china, it's, it's a, an exact copy. It's far more detailed than I could ever have imagined. They've done it and it's amazing. The paintwork, the, the pinstripe, and it looks exactly like me. I'm blown away by it. It's completely mad. It's an honor to be included in um, 200 year celebration of Royal Dalton. Cheers. This is my actual piece I've made. It's called Little London, and it's made up of my favorite buildings, the Festival Hall, Battersea Power Station, Mansion House, and the Skyscraper, and of course the little bus, because I just think that sums up London, really. And all, all the pieces all have different patterns going round, so you can choose which one you like. I just wanted to have something that might look comfortable on a nice table in Scandinavia or somewhere like that that was just really clean and really classic. I think in an era of pop-ups and temporary things the fact that Royal Dalton have achieved 200 years is something that has a real longevity. I'm happy to be involved in it and it's quite a privilege to be a part of the 200 year celebration so thank you Royal Dalton. I'm Dick Delaney and I'm Design Director for Royal Dalton. So for me, Royal Dalton's uh, design philosophy is quite simple. It's always about us bringing quality design to everything we do. For the 200th, we always set out to apply this philosophy by creating a collection that was not only celebrating the anniversary, but it was to create items that were relevant to today's lifestyle. For me, the standout items has got to be 1815-2015. We just love the original collection and to add in a, a 2015 spin-off into interior based items has been very exciting for us. We've actually hand dipped all of these items um, so every single piece is slightly different and is slightly unique. It's that blend of referencing Royal Dalton's heritage but updating it and the jug 
based on the old hunting picture, has got to be my absolute favourite. Future Plans for Royal Dalton is about reinventing and delivering great product. We know from the success of the street art project that the boundaries have changed for this brand and there's definitely more exciting projects to come.